I got one, I got one, I got one. Holy crap, dude. What's up guys, it's the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi Banger video. And today, boys and girls, we are out at a little bit of inshore fishing and today I have a plan of doing some BFS fishing in saltwater conditions to see how can I put a test to BFS gear in saltwater. So today I'm actually not gonna be using braid on my BFS gear, I'm gonna be using four pound copoly, which should be interesting because I have not used a nylon baseline on my BFS gear yet. I just ran out of braid, so tried putting on some copoly just to see how it's gonna be. I'm here with a buddy here today, he's right there behind the truck, yep, Augie. He's been in videos before. Yeah, he's actually bringing out bass gear, which is pretty normal around here, but I will be running out a ultralight spinning setup, an ultralight casting setup, and a live bait rig to see if I can get on a big in today. But I'm super excited to go, hopefully tear into some trout. We're on the outgoing tide. We're on the outgoing tide and hopefully it's gonna be pretty good. It's a large slope with a big tide and usually that means a lot of fish are gonna be feeding, especially at the spot, the dam, there's lots of water flowing and it's gonna be mighty interesting. And let me tell y'all boys and girls, it is hot as heck out here today. So I am not enthused to be walking there. So I'm gonna be packing light. I don't think I'm gonna be keeping any fish today just because I don't feel like filleting any fish. And I caught some crappie and I don't have any room in the freezer just with a lot of food right now. So not worrying about fish. I think that's enough talking. I'm gonna be using some Euro tackle products. I'll talk more about it when I get to the spot. I will see you guys there. There we go. There's the first one. Oh, dang it. Popped off. All right, guys. So what I'm using right now is the Euro Tackle two-inch Bebot and Fire Tiger. I actually learned that this was a great inshore color, and the Chartreuse head in one sixteenth ounce with a size four hook. So this is a perfect pair for these inshore fish. I've already hooked up a couple of times with something, but haven't exactly got it in yet because this is light line. You can't just flip everything. So. We're gonna try to see if we can get into some more action here. There we go. There's a fish. What is this? What am I fighting? What am I catching? Oh, pinfish. Heck yeah, let's go. It's a pretty good pinfish. There we go. First fish. Alright guys, I'm fishing for a little bit. Missed a couple, caught a pinfish. I've missed a ladyfish. I've also just missed a probably almost legal trout, but <laughs> caught a trout. Uh, I was stupid, let my line stay frayed, and I uh, wasn't being smart. So we're gonna try to change that real quick and hopefully hook into something for real this time. And I wanna kinda try to see if I can catch a pinfish real quick and throw on my live bait, but I'm in no rush right now. I'm just trying to enjoy the ultra light fun. To be honest, I'm not really worried about live bait too much. So I'm gonna get back to it, but I wanted to give you guys an update that we were at the spot having some fun. Probably fishing way too fast right now. Yep. Ladyfish, let's go, baby. Jeez, they go nuts. It's so much fun. Boat float. Oh, no. I deserve that. I rang the dinner bell, though. There we go. Did I just catch a needlefish? I just caught a needlefish. Yep, species number 26. Let's go. 
How do I get them off? All right, we have to figure this one out. There we go. Trout. Heck yeah, let's go. Oh, he's croaking. Let's go. Let's go, trout for the win. All right guys, oh geez. <laughs> what I'm using right there, little two inch B-Vob, Fire Tiger, 1 16th chartreuse head, soft lock. We are currently kind of in a lull right now because the tide is just completely gone. I'm trying to see if we can find a fish or two. We've actually got on a couple of trout, which I'm actually kind of happy about because my goal was to catch some trout today, really with ultralight, just because ultralight trout, that's kind of like to a T what it is really for just this area, it's a ton of ultralight, but we're seeing tons of huge mullet around right now. And I couldn't imagine catching one of them things on ultralight, it'd be kind of funny. But right now, it looks like the sun is setting, but it's really not. We actually have like a whole hour till dark, uh, just because we came out here kind of late, just kind of like a, it was like a half send randomly, just like, oh, let's come out and do some fishing. But we're hoping the tide picks up here soon, because I'm trying to get into some more fish. Augie's throwing the EPF swim, I'm throwing the B vibe. We actually haven't lost as many uh, rigs is last time that I have done this recently and I'm surprised because like last time it was bad But I was using braid so I think that was part of it But now I'm using a little bit of a copolymer have had way better durability did snap off on a trout But you know you win some you lose some I'm going to get back to fishing. I'll see you guys soon all right guys, sorry, so so far for the video, we're actually gonna be prolonging it by adding essentially a whole day's another of fishing. So I had actually gone fishing about a week before I shot the video so far up to the point that you've seen so far. That was really complicated how I just said that. I had gone fishing and obviously we didn't have amazing luck this day and I definitely felt like I didn't have enough for a video. I mean, I'm editing now, it's only five minutes worth of footage. I'm not uploading a video with that. So I actually have some leftover footage from a week before where I I forgot this camera and I brought my GoPro so I'm actually gonna run that footage for the rest of the video real quick because there is tons of fish catches on there I mean trout ladyfish I mean I even caught a trout on a chatterbait a micro chatterbait trout that's that's pretty crazy so I'm gonna throw that in here the current's way better in this next section of the video I'm gonna show you guys a lot more of what the details are when you go fishing in the future now it's just I'm very <laughs> Uh, my mind is not in filming mode right now. It's more in school mode. So I'm trying to get adjusted back to YouTube again And I didn't even take a break or anything. So it's like <laughs> I'm just all out of whack But today I'm actually recording a really cool video You guys would be excited to see just want to give you guys a quick little excerpt in the middle of the video Make sure you guys have already subscribed make sure you hit that bell notification. I'm gonna let you guys see the rest of the video There you go. Let's go, baby flounder. I'm calling it baby flounder Flounder. It's a flounder. Nah, it might be red. <laughs> How big is this? Oh, it's a baby red. Oh, look at that tail. That's not a bad one. They're here, though. I'm going to switch real quick. Yeah, probably. I think it's a 14. Let's see how this Aaron's base looks in the water. Oh my God. That's fire. Let's get a little close up to that bad boy right there. There you go, guys. Since I don't have a camera and don't have anything with me, I'm gonna go pro. Taylor. Pinfish, I think. I don't know. Too big? So, huh? You got a flounder? 
What is it? What? It's a toadfish. Be careful, it's venomous. Yeah. <laughs> that is a toadfish, my guy. Mm. Where's the pins on the pinfish again? On the top. It's like a bluegill. It's like a bluegill. Guys, here's the setup from the pinfish I just caught. caught a, oh no, I caught a sand croaker, so that's number 22 that pinfish was. So I'm at 22 species for the year. Let's go. Actually, no, I, I can't count that sand croaker. I didn't take a picture. Life listening, that's the rule. I wasn't thinking. Oh, I just got hammered, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, dude, there's a trout. There's a freaking like 15 inch trout. Holy crap, dude. Dude, that thing dogged me. <laughs> He took my tail and everything. That dude, oh, that was so dope. And you know what's funny? I'm like, I was like, mm, maybe I should tie off and go try the rattle trap and just try to freaking bang out like 15 species real quick. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine how much clout. <laughs> Bro, found the croaker school, that's for sure. Yeah. I think this is croaker. Dude, BFS is something, it's a lot of fun, my guy. You're starting to light. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh, he took it. Look at him, you see him shaking? Does he have the jig in his mouth? Yeah, he just took that shit. Wow. 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 <laughs> right? That's a lot. It's okay. You want to switch? Yeah. Just to try it. Yeah, oh. Loosen the drag and bow to the king, but oh, no way. What is, what is that? Dude, that's a Mondo pinfish. Oh my <laughs> Christ. That's my PB pinfish. <laughs> Dude, here. <laughs> Switch. <laughs> here, you have my PB pinfish, my guy. Holy crap. That thing's huge. You got more of those jigheads? Yeah, I got plenty. Honestly. Should I use that again, you think? Or should I use smaller? What do you mean? For this? Like for catching bait? Just fish. Dude. That exact thing was fire. Dude. You know what's funny? That's a fire tiger swim bait, my guy. <laughs> Got to see it through. Got to see it through. Yeah. What is this? BFS trout, <laughs> let's go, baby. BFS trout, that's almost illegal. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't want to kill your slime, bud, but I'm sorry. Oh, not much slime came off, so he's safe. I can't see anything. Oh, oh there's that trout. <laughs> That's a ladyfish. I'm gonna call a ladyfish this year. <sighs> Dang it. I just don't know how to boat flip those guys properly. I wish we had a net, dude. I literally had it in my truck, too.
We got one down this year. Let's go, baby. One ladyfish down. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all that BFS fishing. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I was using in today's video. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I was using when I was having a lot of luck on out there. I'm gonna show you guys what I was using out there that had a ton of luck on in short fishing. It's the Euro Tackle B-Vibes, of course. I mean, B-Vibes are really awesome baits and I love using them a ton. I love that two inch size. I've been having a lot of luck on that two inch size and specifically Fire Tiger and inshore. I don't know what it is, that color just kills it. But if you guys wanna go check out some more Euro Tackle products, essentially what I caught all my fish on in today's video, unless it was like also fish bites i used a couple of fish bites had a lot of luck on those too but really euro tackle products are really what mainly caught me a ton of fish in today's video i caught a bunch of bait on mirror on fish bites on euro tackle on even gulp minnows i think i used at some point but a lot of stuff all the bigger fish were caught on euro tackle so if you guys go check out euro tackle i used the two inch bvob and fire tiger I use the I use the Z Viber. I use the Z Viber. This is the bigger size right there. A little bit too big for what I was using. I was using the, the one inch size, not the one and a half inch and the 16th ounce Z Viber Micro, not the one with the little ball at the end, but a little bit bigger than that one. But I was using that, caught a ladyfish and trout on that, and it worked. I also used a micro chatterbait from Bait Finesse Empire, so I'll include their link too, so you guys can go check out Bait Finesse Empire if you haven't already. Like, quick thing about Bait Finesse Empire, Amir over there is a really cool guy. He helps everyone get more into the sport of BFS fishing, and I love it. I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit more bass fishing content here on the channel soon, also BFS fishing, of course, but I have a new BFS reel coming on the way very soon, and I am very excited to see it, so hopefully that comes into the mail soon. And uh, I'm gonna be doing reviews on that video uh, and on that new BFS reel that I'm really excited for because I had hooked myself up for my birthday, which is coming up soon. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm done talking for now, but I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed and remember, fish fear me.